As the small community prepares for these funerals, first responders are feeling the ripple effects of investigating this scene. Scott McCain joins us live with the story that you'll only see here on Good Day Utah. Scott, good morning. It's got to be tough for those officers as well. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, absolutely. The emotional and psychological well-being of those officers paramount in the minds of administrators down there, which is why it's so incredibly uh, impactful that there were already mechanisms in place to help those officers. And we're talking about resources uh, that weren't available as little as just five years ago. We have to give ourselves permission to be vulnerable and to seek help and know that that's okay. And that stigma has faded away. Cops from Enoch, Parowan, and Cedar Cities, along with Iron County Sheriff's deputies, all responding to this gruesome scene last Wednesday. A man who killed his wife, mother-in-law, and his own five children, ages four to 17, before taking his own life. Most of the officers either knew or had some connection to the victims. Three Cedar City detectives were among those first responders. Tuesday, Chief Darren Adams conducting his first staff meeting since that incident. One of them, I said, how are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm doing great. As he's shaking his head no and telling me, yeah, I'm doing fine. So it's, yeah, still pretty raw and those guys are struggling, but, uh, but they're on a good foundation upward. The foundation he's talking about was established roughly five years ago. That's when Chief Adams, along with fellow police administrators in the area, like Iron County Sheriff Ken Carpenter, invested in therapy for their officers. Because this, this trauma doesn't end when they walk out the door and go home. It carries with them. And so everything that we can do to try to address that, both for them, their spouse, and their children, um, it's a comprehensive you know, approach. Uh, we are committed, and, and we should be. Brent Jacks is himself a retired West Jordan detective who spent his career investigating gang and drug crimes, while also having a fellow officer shot and killed in the line of duty. He's been open and vocal about his own PTSD, and now, in his role with Utah's Fraternal Order of Police, tries to help establish therapy and wellness programs and agencies all across the state. He helped police in Iron County finalize the grant which brought in state money to help fund their mental health programs. It was so refreshing to hear that the administrators down there had already been talking about wellness. And this is while the officers were still on scene, you know, and, and coordinating those resources. I grew up in the ages of suck it up and, and just go on and, and uh, was able to do that. Uh, but, but I'm no different. I, I went to therapy yesterday morning and it, it was great, um, it was good for me, and, and I want my officers to know that I'm no different, that I'm gonna do everything I'm gonna ask them to do. We're very appreciative of the, the legislature, the governor's office, that have put, uh, have put mechanisms into place. You know, there's still, there's still more that needs to be done, uh, but we're glad to see that agencies are taking that on. Police administrators and legislators here in Utah and across the country are really beginning to realize that this is a long-term investment in the mental and emotional well-being of their officers and that it provides uh, just incredible benefits down the road. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.